Good morning, day 95. Uh, so I camped up the hill there on kind of a yeah, slightly uh, uh, inclined tent site. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you walk down the trail further north, oh, you know, two minutes, and you see something perfectly flat like this that you could have had, but you didn't know was there. Same with water sources. Work hard for one, and then there's a easy pouring one right up the way. Life of a through hiker. Totally random, but some of you might have asked, why do I have a red light lamp on my headlight instead of my white light? And I have the option of both, but really three reasons. First, old habits, tactical. Don't want the enemy to see you. Two, it's a courtesy thing. You don't want to walk around camp blinding people with your white light when red light preserves your night vision. And three, it attracts less bugs. At white light, you turn it on, you've got moths hitting you in the face. That's why. Here's the old bridge. And here's what the new bridge is gonna look like. New blister right there. I never had one like that before. Is spam and tortilla food porn? I say so. I almost talked about how flat it's been today and very little uphill and downhill. It's changed. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my only friend. The end of our elaborate plans the end of everything that stands the end yesterday when i was doing the ice cream challenge i met a guy with a trail named 50. He crossed the halfway point just a little bit after I did, but he started like six to seven weeks after I started also. So while we're having ice cream, he told us he'd been planning this for three years. He's a hiker, he's a mountaineer, he's done it his whole life. He's climbed the highest peak in 49 states in this country. And the one that he has remaining is Katahdin which is the highest point in Maine and happens to be also the end of the Appalachian Trail, or at least the Northern Terminus. His plan is to take approximately 50 days and arrive at Katahdin, his final state, on his 50th birthday. And he's got friends and family arriving to be there with him when he, when he makes this summit. He can have no errors. He has to average 21 miles a day and it was a pretty cool story the way he was telling it to me. I mean, he's taken every detail to make sure this happens and uh, I was impressed. But 50 didn't finish his ice cream. Okay, I've got a train running right by the campsite. I'm gonna hear seven or eight of these are nice, but it's probably just gonna rock me to sleep. Get off the couch. <laughs> 